Hi, and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make this infographic in Word. And I'm going to show you how we can copy something like this with all of the assets available to us in Word. Now, as you can see, my page is currently Landscape. If you need to change yours around, go up to Layout, go to Orientation, click on the drop-down and just select Landscape. Next thing we're going to do is just to make up all of these squares along here. So we're going to go to insert, shapes, and we're going to select this shape here. And then we're just going to click and drag out a shape that looks very similar to these shapes here. Then I'm just going to take the outline off. So click on it, go to shape format, shape outline, click on the drop down, no outline. Then all we're going to do is duplicate it, Command or Control D, and we're going to do that a number of times. You can also hold down your Alt key and then click and drag. You must have it selected, obviously, so select it. Alt key, click and drag. There we are. And then just one more. There. Now you don't have to worry about them being spaced out correctly. We're going to just highlight them all. Hold down your command key whilst you select them. Then go up to shape format, along to the align tool, click on the drop down and just go down to distribute horizontally. And as you can see now, we've got equal gaps between each of our shapes. Whilst they were selected, you can also make sure they're aligned to the top as well. Go to align, align to top, and that will make sure they're all lined up along the top. Now we're just going to go ahead and put in the lines here and then we'll change all the colours afterwards. So again, go to insert, shapes, click on the drop down, select line and then just click and drag out a line. Now this line's a little bit too thin, so go to shape format and go over to format pane. And here you'll find we've got this menu. You go to the bucket icon, go down to line, click on the drop down. And then we can go down to width here and I'm going to select a width of two and then press enter. And then I'm just going to duplicate that by command or control D. And then I'm going to put that one here and then put that one here because you can see they are the shorter ones. And now all I'm going to do is I'm firstly going to line up the line with the center of this shape. So click on the shape hold the command or control key down, click on the line. You can see they're just not quite centered. So shape format, align, align to center. And then we'll just go and do that with all of them. Once they're all lined up, they may not be aligned to the top here. So select the line, hold the command or control key down and select all of the lines, go to align, align to top. And that will ensure they're all lined up to the top here. Now I'm going to click off, click back on this line, command or control D to duplicate. And then again, hold this down, but this time I'm just going to grab the green ball and just drag up the line. So it's a little bit longer, as we can see here, we've got three longer lines. And then again, we're going to duplicate that by command or control D. And then do exactly the same with the alignment. So select the box, hold the command or control key down, select the line, line to center, and then again, select all the longer lines, align, align to top. Now we'll go ahead and change the colors. So select the box, go to fill, go to color. Let's just move this out. Color, more colors, go to the eyedropper tool, hover it over that color and click. You can see the color appears in this box here and then click OK. And then again with the line, click the line, go to color, make sure you're on this menu here, line. And you can go down to recent colors and just click. Again, we can go ahead and do that with the yellow. Go over to fill, more colors, eyedropper tool, yellow and click OK. And you get the idea.
Okay, now we're going to create these circles, as you can see on the top, with this slight shadow. So go to Insert, Shapes, Circle. When you click and drag out your circle, hold down the Shift key, otherwise you'll make an oval. So we'll go to about here. And then what we're going to do is we're going to get rid of the outline and the fill. So select the shape, go over to this menu again here, make sure you're on the bucket icon, select no fill, select no line, but then go to this icon here, effects, go to shadow, click on the drop down, go along to the presets here, and then we can select the shadow over on the right. Let's go back to the bucket, solid fill, let's go to white, and there you have your shadow. So instead of selecting no fill, make sure you select white. And then all we need to do is just make duplicates of it. So let's just make six duplicates, and then we'll align them all. So we're going to make sure we've lined them up with the line and all you need to do is make sure that that square there is in the center of that line. Just move that one over. You can use your arrow keys and if you find that the arrow keys jump too much you can hold down your control key and your command key and then it will reduce those increments. Just to make sure these are all lined up let's just select those top three Go to align, align to top, and then once again we'll make sure that all these are firstly lined up with the line, and again here, make sure it's lined up with the line, and hold the command key down, go back up to align, align to top, and then all of those circles will be perfectly lined up. Now we're going to go and find some icons like this. Now obviously not all of these will be available in Word, but obviously you won't necessarily need these particular icons. So you can select from what's available, or you can go online and find some alternatives from places like Pixabay. And I'll place that link below. So let's just go to Insert, Icons, and I'm going to type in List. And I'm going to select this one here, select Insert. Now, often when the icons are inserted, you can't move them. So all you need to do is select it, go to graphics format, wrap text, click on the drop down, and go to in front of text. Then we can also change this color to this orange color. So select it, go to format graphic, go to the color and select the orange. And you can just reduce the size of it and then pop it into your circle. And again, we can do that with all of these. So once more, we'll go to images. And again, wrap text in front of text. And then we're gonna to go to format graphic, down to the color and select the yellow. And once again, just reduce the size of it and pop it into your circle. Now what you can do to ensure that all of these graphics are lined up in these circles here is select the graphic hold the command or control key down, select the circle, go up to align, align to center, align, align to middle. And then you can see it will be perfectly aligned. Perfect. Now the next thing we're going to do is just to put in these text elements here. So go to insert, text box, click on the drop down and select draw text box. Then just draw out a simple text box. Now every text box has a white border and a white background and a black border. So let's get rid of those, select it, 
go up to shape format, shape fill, click on the drop down and select no fill, select the outline, click on the drop down and select no outline. Then just go ahead and enter in your text. So let's just select all of this text, command or control A, go to home, and then you can either reduce the text by using this drop down here, let's go to eight, let's maybe go to nine, or you can use these increase or decrease text icons. So let's stretch out this box a little bit more. And then we're going to center this text, select the text box, and then just click center. Once you've done that, all you need to do is just simply copy and paste it or duplicate it. So I'm just going to duplicate this, holding my Alt key down, just click and drag. And then click and drag again. And then click and drag again. Okay, and now we can just ensure that these are over the top here. I'm just trying to line this box up here with the line here. Okay, and once again, if I hold down my command key, I can just select all of those boxes, go to shape format, go to align, align to top, and again with all of these as well, align to top. Perfect. And then I'm just going to copy and paste this box as well, holding down my Alt key. There we go. And then we can just enter in this text here. So it's all centered at the moment, just select it all. Let's put the three to six months in. And then we can make three to six bold. Go to home, select bold. And then all we need to do is copy and paste or select the Alt key. And we're going to just duplicate those. There we go. We just select them all to that for now. Now they're all, these two are selected. So we'll just go to shape format, align, align to top. And then what we can make sure we can do is align this to this box here and this line. So let's just move that over there. Let's just basically line all these up. I'm just lining the, again this square up with this line. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and select all the text in the text boxes and change it. Double click inside, Command or Control A, and we'll do two to three. So what I have noticed, I'll just pull in the picture again. What I have noticed is that we've forgotten to do text, let me just, we have forgotten to do the text on here and the line at the back. So let's do that text now. So I'm just going to insert text box, draw text box, just click out, click and drag out a text box and then write the words in that you want. I'm just going to do all of these in capitals. And then I'm going to center it, home, center, and I'm going to turn the text white. And then move it over the top here. You see there's a background and a border, so select it, shape format, shape fill, no fill, outline, no outline. And then you can just pop that into the middle and then click on this text box here and the box behind, and again, you can go up to line, align to center, align, align to middle, and that will ensure that that text is perfectly lined up. Go ahead now, hold the Alt key down, click and drag, and again, and again, and once more. There we go. And let's double click inside, change the words, and then hold down the command or control key, click on the outer square or shape, align to center, align to middle. And 
Then I'm going to go up to insert, we'll put the line in, shape, line, click and drag out a line. Then go over to this menu here, go to the line, solid line, and let's choose a light gray, maybe something a little bit darker. And then we'll go to one point, and then we'll go up to shape format, send backwards, click on the drop down, and select center back. Now I've just noticed there's also a shadow on all of these boxes. So if I click on this box here, go to format shape, go to this icon here, click on the shadow drop down, go to presets, click on the drop down here. You don't have to select the preset I will select, which will be this one over here. You can choose any preset you like. And there you have it. So I'll just speed up the video while I group everything together. Hold down your command or control key whilst clicking on the text boxes, go to shape format, go to group and select group and that will group everything together. As you can see, I'm going ahead and grouping different elements together as a larger group. And then I group each of those larger groups together until I've eventually grouped everything together as a whole. Now you can always test whether you've made sure that you've grouped everything by simply moving it. And if something doesn't move, it means it's not become part of the overall group. Just press Command or Control Z to go backwards, and then you can just simply group it. And there you have your infographic. I hope that's helped you today. If it has, please subscribe and have a great day.